Hi, I'm working on a project. I've got to uh, move this uh, bearing into this block. And uh, I'm gonna put it in the four jaw chuck. And there's a very cool way to uh, send this. It's a very easy trick and you, uh, I think you should know about it. I've uh, got it from this book, Simple Workshop Devices by uh, Tubulcane. Who is not the same Tubulcane as uh, the one from YouTube, uh, Mr. P222, but uh, another one. But uh, it's, a, it's a nice book, it's from the Workshop Practice Series. Uh, I've got a few of these. I'm thinking about doing a review about them, but uh, that's for a later date. Uh, now I will be uh, putting this in the four jaw and uh, show you how to do it. Mark the edges where the jaws uh, should be, and I uh, do the test fit. And uh, I think this is uh, a problem. This jaw is extended too much because uh, uh, the plate isn't uh, centered because the, the holes should be offset. But uh, I have to fix this first. So the block is kind of big compared to my uh, chuck. And I had to uh, grind away a piece of uh, the part just to be able to hold it because otherwise uh, this uh, jaw would stick out too much. Um, I've uh, marked uh, some lines here so I can uh, Center it easily, and just a rough centering. And I've already had it uh, in here to see if uh, the jaws would fit, and that's uh, when I decided to remove the metal. I've uh, numbered uh, my jaws on the flange here with uh, number punches. But, uh, you don't have to. Lining the uh, the mark uh, the mark lines. First, I made uh, this hole and it said to, uh, I had to enlarge it because uh, the radius of my uh, grinding tools uh, was a bit big compared to the hole size. Right. So I've got a dial indicator on. Uh, Magnetic base. It's uh, nothing uh, fancy. No. It's an uh, import uh, base. Not uh, that uh, expensive. Buy it uh, directly from China. Now, here's the trick. You put a, uh, a center between the centers. I've got a bit of play. And you can see the center it doesn't fall out. This is uh, quite off center. But you can prob probably almost already uh, guess what's uh, going to happen. I've got to find a good position for it for this base. I had something 
something like this. This should go down. It's just a uh, side for now. I've got two uh, chuck keys. It's uh, a bit easier to uh, to use uh, when you're working with a force wheel. Just uh, do it uh, like this for now. This one should go down. And, uh, I've got to. Uh, just uh, the space uh, the center has because if it's uh, very off center you've got a, uh, a smaller distance between the workpiece and uh, the center so if you move it down you will force the center into the workpiece uh, or you could uh, use a spring loaded center but I don't have one closer This is a uh, position I like better. So right now this is uh, minus 20. Uh, plus 40. Don't have to zero every time but... Uh,
Now I'm within uh, uh, four hundredths of a millimeter. I'm worried about the seating because uh, this isn't a flat surface and uh, maybe it would uh, uh, lift the workpiece if I tighten the jaw. More deflection. Now I'm uh, within one hundredth of a millimeter. So that's uh, the trick with uh, the center. And I uh, hope you find it useful. And uh, now I can continue with my projects. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you soon.